Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about a skincare product. The Hydrocolloid type of patches, bandages, all of that. So I did another video on like specific patches, like actual brands that sell like the patches for your face. And that was the Mighty Patch. And I think I tried the Pan Oxo is what it's called. I think it's that brand, but if it's not, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully. So anyways, I really want to try the alternative to those, which is the new Hydrocell Band-Aids. And you can get these anywhere. I got this from Walmart, but any drugstore you can probably get this, so it's not hard to find. So these are supposed to be the alternative because, well not really an alternative, it's kind of like you can use it if you want to. Like it wasn't created for that, I don't think. So you can use it if you want, kind of like the hydrocolloid patches and just like make it yourself because I took these and I like cut them. But anyways, it's alternative because of the price difference. This is much cheaper, I guess. Thing like that, Mighty Patches, they're like six for like the mini version and then like $12 for the regular size patch. I mean, regular size box. So these are like $3, you can get them anywhere. And they have different sizes, like this one is for like they have them for like feet, they have them for, I don't know, bigger bruises and cuts. Like they have different sizes. They have like really big ones too, I think. But I didn't need all that. I wanted like the smallest one as possible. So I got the feet ones, which is kind of weird to me, but they all work the same. So I think, I hope so. They all have the same thing. They all have hydrocolloid in them. They're hydrocolloid gel bandages. So these are actually kind of thick. I'm gonna show you what one looks like in a minute. But like I said, these are like the ones that are kind of like for the back of your heel. I guess if you get cut back there or like have a blister or something, that's what it's for. But um, when you take it out the box, it looks like this. I did get the um, ones for your feet because they were a little bit smaller and you can easily cut them up into smaller pieces for the face. Like I didn't need like big ones because I didn't want them covering like a lot of my face basically. That was unnecessary. But anyways, so you pull out the box, it looks like this, kind of like a regular band-aid. And what it has is like, they have like this opening here. So you just, So you just pull that and there's like space. And then you have the bandage, which is honestly kind of big. I don't need this, but you just have the bandage. And this is what the one for the back of your heel looks like. They feel kind of thick because they are gel. But anyways, this still just, the back looks like a regular band-aid. You just take it off like that. And it is really sticky. So that's what the bandage looks like. And what I did was I cut like here and here. So like I had three pieces and I just put them wherever I needed. And if you saw my other video, you know that like the other patches that are like meant for your face and created for like pimples, they never suck the stuff out where you can like see it on the patch itself. So I wanted to see if this would work. Cause I've seen this used on some people's face and it sucks the stuff out like it's supposed to with like the regular patches. And I wanted to see if it will work for me. But um, I told you last time when I did use like the patches it did not suck the stuff out but in the morning, it would be like, it would open the spot where I had like a white head. It would like open it just a little bit. I don't know how, but it opens the pimple where you would think like if I left it on longer, it would suck it out, but that never usually happens. It just opens it. So that way when I wash my face, I'm like wiping the pus off easily. I don't know why it does it that way for me. I don't know what that's about, but anyways. So with the patches, I mean with these bandages, I will say it is very similar to like a nose strip. 
it's similar to that like the way it feels when you take it off it's almost like you're waxing yourself because when i took it off it hurt like the peach fuzz on my face was coming off like i looked at it and there was hairs on it and it also looked like it got some kind of you know gunk that's like in your pores it looked like it got some of that out because I definitely had some stuff come out. It was kind of gross, but not like a lot because it's not meant for that. So I don't know how that is. And you can like see the oils and stuff like that. But to me, it's just really the equivalent to like a no strip. That's what it feels like. That's what it kind of looks like. But I mean, I did get the one that's for like your heel. But anyways, so as far as like if it works with like whiteheads, it pretty much did the same thing that the regular ones for your face did for me. Like it would open it up just a little bit and I could easily just wipe it off. I think one time it did pull out like a little bit, but that's because basically when I pulled it off, it almost felt like it kind of ripped the skin off a little bit. So it did open it up automatically or like it had opened it up a little bit and then like the white head or like whatever you know like it's kind of like a bead a white little bead once you get like past pus or whatever that's kind of gross but anyways it's like the little bead and it like stuck to the band-aid so i mean i guess it could work but personally for me it's just not doing what i need to do like i didn't ask for all that if i wanted a no strip i would have just got a no strip but for the price, I mean, it's worth a try. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. So, that being said, it's a great little cheap alternative to test out if that's what you want to do. But honestly, I would say it's not even worth it. Just get like the actual Mighty Patches or any actual hydrocolloid bandages for, not bandages, hydrocolloid um, patches for your face. That's probably like your best option just because they're actually meant for your face. So like for me, they work the exact same, which is not that great. But I mean, if I was to like buy another pack and they actually work for me, I'd just get like the actual one for your face because they're just easier to use in my opinion and it doesn't actually hurt. That hurt. Like it was really, it was like waxing myself, it hurt. I wouldn't really suggest it, but if you want to give it a try, I mean, I don't see the problem with it. So, I feel like this wasn't that helpful, but that was just my experience. I want to let you guys know. But if I did miss anything or you have any more questions, then just let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys. I really wish I had pictures, but I don't. Anyways, this was just supposed to be a quick video, quick little chat about these bandages. This was, I, it was not, this was not supposed to be like an in-depth review. Well, I mean, this was about as in-depth as I could get at the moment. Like I said, I don't have any pictures, but if I do have pictures, I'll let you know. Like I'll insert them somewhere. But I don't, I don't think I took pictures. So that's something I gotta work on. I gotta remember to take pictures so that you guys can see what I'm talking about as I'm saying it. Cause pictures may be easier to follow than what I'm saying. And they're helpful, you know? Anyways, so bye guys.